Hey Siri, how many days until the 29th of April? It's 12 days until then. Okay, so we're 12 days out from the Jantana Classic in Sweden, which is my first show for 2023. And I'm a little late with giving an update because it has just been hectic and the priority is really to prep for the show so that's why I haven't come back on here since but promise to give an update before going off so so yes we're 12 days out from the show I actually travel next week the, this year the show is actually taking place in a different location so it's not in Stockholm it's in Viserys if I'm pronouncing it correctly, I'll put the word up here. The show is actually in that region, so it's an hour away from Stockholm. So when I actually land in Stockholm, I still have an hour drive to get to my final location. So it's gonna be a pretty long travel. I'm not overthinking anything for this show. I am actually not nervous as yet, which is a good and a bad thing, because I just hope the nerves don't hit me, you know, at the wrong time. But I am not really nervous about this show at all. So I'm yes, how this prep went. So this prep, it was somewhat of a short off season. Like I said in my previous video, I competed last September and following competing in September, it was like basically on vacation. So by the time I got back to Antigua, let's just say middle to the end of October is when I really started preparations for 2023. So that just gives you October. November, well, let's just say November, December, January, February, March, April. That's six months to basically do some sort of improvements and then go into a cut. And this year my cut was about 16 weeks. So it wasn't that long of an off season as, you know, an athlete would have liked to have. But I feel like we capitalized and the areas that I'm looking forward to seeing um changes in or was pushing to see changes as i have started to see changes in those areas so i'm pretty happy with the outcome and it's a work in progress so it's never perfect it's always progress so we have made progress and just looking forward to seeing how everything transitions on stage talking a little bit about how i'm feeling i'm pretty low energy which is pretty much why i never made a video before today i was busy but when i did have time i just preferred to sleep rest recuperate because it was like going again the next day so energy levels are up and down i tend to have this experience of mental fog like i'm, I'm my, my mind is very active like i'm a person that I'm, I'm always thinking about something and if i'm doing something i'm always thinking about something else so i'm very i have a very active active mind and normally when prep starts to get really hard because of the low calories and the output is more increased I tend to have mental fog so like so the mental fog I think probably is the worst part about this prep that I just would pretty much go blank I would literally go blank don't know how else to describe it I'm pretty sure somebody out there knows exactly what I'm talking about this week is continue having a heavy lifting week lifting week heavy lifting week as best as I can and then next week we're gonna dial back a little bit on the heavy lifting it's all gonna be about depleting the muscles so i'll probably have my leg day early which most athletes do what next week looks like for me it will be a depletion week so it's not going to be about lifting heavy anymore it's about you know depleting the carbohydrates or the glycogen storages i should say in the muscle so it's about high reps not too much weight it's about getting to the end of the workout really so it's really just to get a pump to deplete the the glycogen storage in the muscle so yeah my coach and i are doing things different we agreed that we're going to be doing check-ins daily going into the show so i really don't know what my peak week looks like when it comes to food we've decided that we will make the decisions as we go through the peak week versus coming up with a plan which is what we've done in the past come up with a plan and we're following the plan and then maybe tweaking the plan and it's more so a reactive than a proactive approach so it's gonna be a new experience for me this this particular show we chose to do it at this particular show so that we can see what works what doesn't work what adjustments need to be made and if my body responds to this type of uh, basically peak week approach so one other change that happened this year that I'm really really proud about and looking forward to seeing you know the changes 
this year I train a lot less with my trainer so he has been with me since 2016 when I did my first show in 2017 but this year we trained a lot less together so maybe 75 to 80 percent of the workouts were done you know either by myself or with my sister as a training partner or I would have I would sometimes train with another person really looking forward to seeing what I was able to do training myself more often and normally I tend to feel most relaxed like when I'm on that flight heading out of Antigua you know on my way to my destination because everything is pretty much packed and it's more so about just the execution part so it will be hectic for the next couple of days just trying to get the workouts in get my rest in my water in my cardio in packing at the same time getting to all my appointments like everything that surrounds show prep which is the fun part but also stressful part about prepping is running around and trying to get everything done but all in all i am very much in a great mood today which is why i decided to sit down and do the video i actually also did a video yesterday which is gonna be my five things that I think is an absolute must to walk with as an athlete going to a show so be sure to check out that video as well and hopefully I get to do one more vlog before I leave but if not we will see you in Sweden. Bye guys!